Hi everyone, Rebecca B here for Hip Kit Club. Today I'm creating a project using one of the exclusive subscriber cut files for the month and I've chosen to use the You Are Incredible cut file. So I've cut my cut file twice. I've used plain white textured cardstock and I've also used the stunning blue shade that comes in the cardstock kit. It's called Sea Spray and it really coordinates really well with the blue that's in this paper that I'm cutting on screen right now. And that paper is called We Go Way Back and that is in the main kit and the paper pattern paper kit. Um, that is a hit kit exclusive, that paper, and I love it. It's probably my favourite from the whole pack. It's pretty hard to choose a favourite really because all the colours are so, so pastel-y and just really springy and just really feel good to scrap with. So really, really beautiful kit this month. So as you will have seen on screen, I'm going to cut the We Go Way Back paper in half widthways across the middle and I'm going to invert and change the direction that those coloured arrows point so that the point is facing towards the centre of the page and not towards the outside of the page. Okay, so a little bit of prep for my paper. I'm just plopping some clear gesso on there and I will set that aside to dry while I attend back to my colours pattern paper and I'm going to start cutting out those coloured strips and I'm just keeping the coloured pieces and just getting rid of the what the white part that goes in between. Now it's worth me mentioning that the subscriber cut files are exclusive to subscribers only and cannot be purchased on the website so you do need to subscribe to get hold of those. So now that everything is cut, I'm going to just do a little bit of planning of where these little coloured pieces are going to sit. I've used a blue journaling pen because I knew I was going to go in then with the blue paint from the colour kit. Uh, that is the Ride the Tide Creamies from the Shimmers Coloured Kit. Um, and I didn't want, um, if I'd use pencil, sometimes I feel like the pencil can dissolve in paint and look a bit muddy. I didn't want any muddiness on here. I just wanted lovely bright pastels. Um, so I've just used a blue journaling pen to mark out where those coloured strips of pattern paper will sit. And then I'm going to start applying some of that gorgeous, gorgeous Shimmers colour um, just to the centre of where my arrows are going to point towards. I've also added a tiny amount of the Bahama Mama uh, colour, which also comes in the colour kit. It's a pink shade. Um, I've a tiny, tiny little amount just to add a little bit of interest when you look in the close-up shots. So most of my blue colour will sit on the left and right sides of those coloured paper arrows, but I will add a little bit of that blue just above and below because that is where the gaps in my coloured paper arrows will be. And I didn't want any sort of clear demarcations or clear, you know, um, harsh lines. Um, so just a little bit of blue above there as well. And I will add a little bit of white splatter just to add some additional texture to that mixed media behind there. So I've come to the point of adhering my coloured arrows, my coloured chevrons in place. And I'm just adding the tiniest little bit of double-sided tape uh, to affix those just temporarily onto the gessoed paper um, because I'm going to sew through them. And I didn't want my sewing machine sewing through any adhesives of any kind and sort of gumming up my sewing machine. So just the tiniest little dot just to hold them in place until I then sew through them. I'll also sew a line of uh, stitching through each of those coloured chevrons. Uh, in between each coloured chevron just to add some texture in the background uh, so hopefully you can see that there what I've done just white stitching white cotton stitching and now that they're all adhered and sewed in place I'm going to lift those edges up and get them distressed um, again just for additional texture um, I liked using the paper distresser on those very edge pieces um, because it adds a little bit of white um, and just helps separate the the coloured paper from the background a little bit more and uh, yeah just kind of really lifts them off the page. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier I have cut my cut file twice. I'm going to have the white cut file on top and I'm just going to ever so slightly offset the the white on top of the blue so that you have just a very slight drop shadow effect and the blue will 
pretty much match the colour of the mixed media in the background um, and, and sort of fade away. Um, but it just helps that cut file to stand out um, without being too too obvious, too in your face, and it still looks nice and soft and pastely. Um, so I'm just very slowly going to uh, stick those together just with a tiny little bit of glue. Um, and I've, I've taped those down onto my cutting mat uh, just so that I can make sure that they don't move whilst I'm um, sticking them together. The photos that I'm scrapping today are me and my dad out uh, for a meal. We we were with my mum as well, uh, but my mum was taking the photo, uh, so she's not in the photo. Um, I have very few photos in my scrapbook of my dad, um, so I only really realised that when I went to make this layout. So um, I really loved the colour that my dad is wearing. He's wearing a lovely uh, pastel blue shirt, and I felt like it really suited the colours, and he is incredible <laughs> my dad is incredible so uh, it, it felt like it fitted really well so i'm using the sea spray cardstock from the cardstock kit and i'm going to cut a blue tag uh, using the tag dies and i'm also going to use the die set from january the kaleidoscope dies and i'm going to use the daisy shape and the leaf die um, i've cut several of the daisy shapes in the lemon fizz and the melon cardstock from the cardstock kit and once I've cut those, I've layered them up um, and just gently curled the edges to give them some texture and some lift um, and a bit more of a dimensional look. And they look really cool once they're, once they're shaped. So you can see there that I have made a small little tassel for my tag just from some yellow thread from my uh, stash. And I've started to adhere everything in place. I've used the tag just to stick out the bottom from my photo. Um, the blue, that sea spray uh, cardstock is the perfect colour to match my photos. So you can see there that I'm shaping those gerbera flowers. Also cut several leaves from that set of dies using the lime side cardstock as well. I'm just going to start planning where I'm going to put everything. I want a cluster above and a cluster below my photographs. Added in two pieces of the pink fresh floral ephemera from the embellishment kit, um, just in similar colours that I'm already using on the layout. I'm going to start tucking in those leaves once I've sort of bent them and curled them and shaped them and just starting to form little floral clusters above and below my photographs. So you will see me add some thread bundles to the side and above my photograph. I only keep one of them. I like the one to the side, but I take away the one above. I also add uh, the letters for dad underneath my cut file, but I've taken those off as well. Finally, I'm also adhering down my butterfly from my cut file. Um, I cut it in several sizes and colours and in the end I chose melon uh, from the cardstock colour kit um, and a small shaped butterfly. I also added a couple of the enamel dots from the Pink Fresh Life Right Now uh, enamel dots from the main kit. And that is the final layout. There will be some close-ups of the final layout coming now. If you've enjoyed this layout, please do like the video and subscribe to the Hit Kit Club channel. And please do click on that notification bell to be notified every time Hip Kit Club adds a new video. Thank you very much for joining me today. This was Rebecca B for Hip Kit Club.